Hello, everybody. Welcome to the latest RxM Cloud Native Short Take. My name is Christian Luxina, and today we're going to short take the RxM Kubernetes Application Configuration Module. In this module, we take a look at how to configure our applications to run on Kubernetes. We discuss how common configuration paradigms are implemented in Kubernetes. We'll also discuss the concept of spec portability. We'll then take a look at how to create and consume secrets and config map resources in Kubernetes. And then lastly, we also demonstrate the use of the downward API. Okay, so in this short take demo, we're going to take a look at how we can realize the concept of portability in Kubernetes by taking one pod spec and then deploying it in multiple namespaces and seeing how we can actually get different behavior from that pod just based on the namespace that it's been deployed to. I've got my Kubernetes cluster here and I have two additional namespaces, one named dev and one named test. So say I've got a pod spec that I've prepared that I would like to deploy to both namespaces. This could be my application. So if I do cat message pod.yaml, we can see that I've got my pod spec here. It's simply running a busybox container. And all it's going to do is output the contents of an environment variable called message. Now, the message environment variable is going to have its value populated from a config map. And from that config map, the environment variable will take its value from the config map's key message. So using this po one pod spec, I can actually have my application show different behavior based on the namespace it's deployed in. So let's go ahead and create this config map message CM in my dev and my test namespaces. So if I do kubectl create CM message CM, and we're going to create it from a literal key value pair. And in my dev namespace, I'm going to set the value of message to hello. And in my test namespace, I'm going to create the same config map, but I'm going to change the value to bonjour. All right, now let's go ahead and deploy my pod inside both of those namespaces. Now, if I do kubectl apply on my message pod in the dev namespace, and then check its logs, kubectl logs. In the dev namespace, you can see that it outputs hello per the config map inside the dev namespace. Now let's try this again inside the test namespace. We do kubectl apply minus F in the message pod YAML in the test namespace. And then if I check its logs in the test namespace, we can see it outputs bonjour. So with config maps and a pod spec that can read from a config map, I've actually realized and set up a portable pod spec that I can actually move between namespaces and actually have behave differently. You can do this using simple key value pairs like I've shown here, or you can do so for more complex config, uh, config files. In either case, you can, using Kubernetes primitives, set up portable application deployments that you can deploy in one cluster or another cluster or namespaces within the cluster and have it behave diff differently based on your requirements in each environment. So this is just a sample of what you could learn in the Kubernetes application configuration module. You can create your own customized Kubernetes course with this and many other modules using the courseware builder on rxm.com. Once you navigate to rxm.com, if you go under courses, you can click the custom course builder. And once you navigate to the custom course builder, you can scroll down, select this module from the list and drag it over to your custom course. And that's our cloud native short take on the Kubernetes application configuration module.